Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video and I hope you're having a wonderful day so far. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Christina and I make videos here on YouTube all about saving money, paying off debt, and lifestyle design. So if you like topics like that, make sure to go ahead and hit the red subscribe button so that you can join our YouTube family. If you're new around here, you might not know that I started my debt-free journey in July of 2020 where I started paying off over $18,000 worth of debt. I'm still continuing on that journey and every single month I update you guys on YouTube with these debt-free journey updates where I make videos sharing how much debt I've been able to pay off and some of the challenges that I've faced along the way. So this debt-free journey episode is number seven and I'm going to be covering the months of January and February in this video. So this one has two months lumped into it just because I've been really busy and I'll get into that a little bit more. But normally I do do an episode every single month, but for this episode we're going to do two months into one. So if you remember from episode number six, I was pretty disappointed with the amount of money that we were able to put towards our debt for the month of December. It was a fairly low income month for us. We had a couple bills to pay and we just weren't able to put that much money towards our debt. So that was pretty disappointing. And if you haven't seen that update video, I will link it down below. But I do just wanna give a little spoiler for this video and let you know that I do have something exciting to share related to my debt in this video. So make sure you keep watching to the end. So always at the beginning of these videos, I like to give you guys a little income overview for the month. I never share exactly how much we make just for privacy reasons, but I do like to give you a general idea of how we're doing income wise because that really does influence how much debt we're able to pay off. So I'm very happy to report that our income has been increasing. December was a very low income month for us and then January started to get better and February was even better than that. And the main reason why our income has increased is because I accepted a new full-time position so I'm working nine to five technically now as a youth employment counselor. So I help youth find jobs, youth who specifically are in the foster care system. So it's still very much social work related, which I went to school for. And it's just so much fun to help youth follow their dreams and get jobs that they really love. And I help them manage their money. As you guys can see from my YouTube channel, it's all things that I am very passionate about. So it feels like a very good fit for me. Although I'm not making a ton more money in this position, it is the highest salary that I've ever been paid. So for that, I am very grateful. My Etsy shop has also been doing really well over the last couple of months. And that's another reason why our income has increased. People have been leaving really nice reviews on my Etsy shop. And I've learned that reviews are very good for the algorithm in Etsy. So because of those good reviews, people are finding my Etsy shop more regularly and more easily. So I've been getting a lot of orders and working very hard in the shop. And another little side hustle, I guess you could call it, that I've been doing is selling things on Facebook Marketplace. One day I looked around my apartment and I was like, there is so much clutter here and things that I don't even use. I wonder if I just tried out Facebook Marketplace, if I could get rid of some of this stuff and also make some money in the process. And I did. I've been selling so much stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Honestly, it's very addicting. It's so easy to sell. I'm going to make a whole video on selling stuff on Facebook Marketplace, but I've been able to make so much extra money by just selling my old stuff. So that was another way that we were able to increase our income over the past couple months. So now I'm going to chat a little bit about how I saved money throughout the months of January and February. The first major way that I saved money was buying my new work clothes at thrift stores. So the dress code for my new job is business casual and sometimes I have to go into an office. So I needed to buy some dress pants and some nice shirts because I am not used to having to dress nice. I always work from home and my other jobs have been very, very casual casual, just like jeans and a t-shirt was totally okay. So I really had to update my wardrobe, but I didn't want to go over to the mall to buy all new clothes and spend a bunch of money because I'm on this debt-free journey and I want to be putting my money towards debt. So what I did was I went thrift shopping and I found so many good pieces that I can wear to work. Perfectly affordable, brand new looking clothing. I got a blazer for $5 that looks like it's never been worn. Another way that I've saved money over the last couple of months is being creative with stress stretching my food budget. And if you're interested in saving money on food, you might want to watch the video that I just filmed. I'll link it down below. It's all about how I save money on my grocery budget. One of my favorite tricks that I have learned is the power of soup. Soup goes so far and you can make delicious soups out of the most basic ingredients. Like for example, right now I have potato soup cooking in the crock pot. I have garlic, onions, potato, chili powder, all put in the crock pot and I plan on pureeing it with my immersion 
blender, putting some cheese and bacon on top and it's gonna be like a loaded baked potato soup. Do not underestimate the power of a soup. It is so good for stretching your grocery budget and that's what I've been relying on over the last couple of months. So now that you know how I saved money throughout January and February, let's talk about how I spent money. And the first way that I spent money over the last couple of months is through my car insurance. Car insurance will literally be the death of me. Why don't they tell you about car insurance in school and how you literally feel like you're in a prison? Maybe not everybody feels like that, but my car insurance is exceptionally high and it breaks my heart. And I actually had to increase my car insurance again because with my new job, I have to transport youth to interviews or appointments and things like that. So I need to have the type of insurance that allows me to take clients in my car. So I had to increase my liability from $1 million to $2 million. So that was an increase and more money that I'm gonna have to pay every single month towards my car insurance. But I don't mind it too much because I know that it comes with a job and I am gonna be making more money with this job. So it does kind of balance out. I know I literally just said that one of the ways I've saved money is by stretching my food budget. But one of the ways that I also spent money over the last month or so is because of food as well and eating out at restaurants. The spring is coming and when it's a nice day on the weekend, me and Aaron really like to go out and try local food spots and places that we've never tried before. I'm always seeing different places on Instagram in the Halifax area that I wanna try. So I keep a little list on my phone of local restaurants and cafes and stuff that we wanna go to. And for the last couple of weekends, we have been going out and having fun and trying new food, which can be expensive and it adds up. But that being said, I'm not too hard on myself for that. We're supporting local, we're getting outside and having fun. It's good for our mental health. I kind of just say that to myself to make me feel better about spending the money. All right, everyone, it's time for the moment of truth, the moment you have all been waiting for. Let's talk numbers and talk about how much debt I was able to get rid of. I've got my little notebook here, and the first thing we're gonna do is go over our debt totals for December that were listed in the last Debt Free Journey video, but this is just to recap and refresh your memory. So for December, we left off with my student loan being at $4,900. $92.28. For Aaron's student loan, we left off with $629.20. And for our car loan, we left off with $7,599.47. Okay, let's talk about my current debt totals for the beginning of March. Right now, my student loan is at $4,911.24, which means I've been able to pay off $81.04 throughout the months of January and February. Not a lot, I know, but my student loan is still lowest priority because the interest is the lowest. So that will be the last loan that we really focus our time and energy on. Aaron's student loan is gone, yes. We paid off $629.20. I am so, so excited. We were able to totally erase that off of our board. Here, I'll show you guys. So here's the board. Aaron's loan is no longer there. And I've said in other videos before that me and Aaron share our debt and we share our income. We are engaged and we're totally comfortable with that. So what's his is mine and what's mine is his. I lump all of our debt into one. Having that gone for us is so exciting. $600 was such a great payment to pay off. So yeah, very happy about that. And our car loan is now at $6,919.88 cents, which means we paid $679.59 towards our car loan as well for January and February. So it's important to keep in mind that this episode is for two months as opposed to the one month that it would normally be. But in total, we put $1,389.83 towards our debt. So if you divide that in half, that's about $694 each month that we were able to put towards our debt. And like I said at the beginning of this video, selling on Facebook Marketplace helped us tremendously with putting extra money towards our debt. I cannot recommend enough if you have some debt or if you're trying to save up or pay something off, look around your house and see what you can sell because it is really helpful. So I'm going to show you our little debt board again that we keep on our fridge. I just bring it in here when I'm filming these videos for you guys. It felt so good to erase Aaron's loan from the middle here. So now we just have my student 
student loan and our car loan right here. And we have the total amount left that we have to pay towards our debt, which is $11,831.12. Remember, we started out with over $18,000. So this makes me feel so happy. All right, everyone. So that is it for episode seven of my debt-free journey. I really hope you liked it and that it inspired you to either save or pay off debt, whatever your financial goals are. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also hit the red subscribe button so that you can join our YouTube family. Down below, I have the playlist so that you can watch all of the older episodes of my debt-free journey. I also have how to save money on your grocery budget, as well as my Etsy shop, my Instagram, Facebook, all of that stuff. So that's it for me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.